Hello and welcome. I'm going to be explaining a few concepts about this game, such as the construction and the state construction efficiency, and what I'll also be explaining is your production throughput. These are, these are all things you need to understand to actually build a great economy in this game. So right here, I'm going to go load a save. And the save, I already built some stuff. This is not an optimal build for a France economy. This is just for the purpose of demonstrating a few aspects about the game. Now, John and me, we John and me talked about some parts about this game. And we tested some stuff out, and we found a lot of stuff that needs to be shared. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the construction right here. Well. What does this do? It gives you 5 construction and 1% construction efficiency. Well, that actually changes depending on which one of these you use. For here, if you click the uh, wooden ones, it's 2 construction and 0.5 state construction efficiency. Well, obviously you want higher, no matter how like detrimental it is on the economy. The higher the better. Alright. Now, there's two things about this, the construction and state construction efficiency. Now, what are these? Well, most of you probably already know what this is, but I'm just gonna tell you what it is for the people who don't know. This is basically your civilian factory, like in Hoi 4. The construction increases your construction cap. And that's right here. My construction cap right now is 313. If I was to build more of these, I'd get five more construction per the every one I build. Now the actual state construction efficiency, that actually applies to the states you build it in. Now, for example, okay, there we go. So I have four states with it. Now these will each provide a 1% bonus. So if you have 15, 15 times one, that is 15% construction efficiency. Now, what is construction efficiency? Well, you can test right here. I'm gonna make sure I got no decrees on. I actually do. So. Wait for the, I'm gonna wait for the next tick. There we go. Now they are not applied. So what I'm gonna do here is make sure which states I have them in. Okay, I'm just gonna compare these two states. <clears throat> I'll build live stocks. I'm gonna go to my construction, and right here you have 20. You have the 21 that's building here, and then you have the 17.4 that's building here. What this means is. The construction efficiency is the efficiency of your construction. So what that means is it takes less construction to build it. It takes the same amount of time, but it takes less construction. See right here? So, that, so what this means is this will allow you to build more. But there's another aspect of this game you can also use on your decrees. So you go to political lens and your decrees. And right here, road maintenance, 10% construction efficiency. Put that on there. Here we go. I'm going to let it tick for the next week. There we go. That's tick. <clears throat> you can see right here, it's changed even more. It's, it's became even cheaper to make. So that allows you to build more. So right now, I'm getting a 25% construction efficiency. It's 25% cheaper to build in this tile right now. That's why you want to stack your construction sectors, not spread them all out and have like one in each province. That That's not efficient. The whole purpose of them is to be efficient and to construct more. Now, I'm going to move on to the next part now. I'm going to move on to throughput. Now, what is throughput? It basically means you get to have more. What does that mean? Okay, so, for example, we'll go to the coal mine. I'm going to go to coal mine. Actually, we're going to go We're going right here, textile mills. You have seven. Well, 6% throughput. Okay, we're going to go to paper. We're going to go to arms industry. There's five, four percent. So what this means is everything that you build past one is a one percent increase in efficiency. Throughput. I'm sorry. Everything you build past the level one on anything will give you throughput. One percent throughput. And how much throughput can you get? Well, you can get a maximum of 20 percent. Look right here. Maximum of 20%. There are technologies that will allow you to have more, more capped throughput. It will increase the cap. Here, I'll show you right here. It is under electricity. Here we go. This one will increase it by 15% throughput. 
but see that'll take 24 years to research and then I have to research that so what you would do to get the research tech faster is build universities you'd build universities now I'm not going to tell you what the optimal build for universities are I can discuss that in another video but you that's how you would get stuff faster okay now we're actually going to go back to here so why do I have 21 and 21 I'm going to go to here why do I keep building level 21s well the the output is 20% so that means you have to have 21 to have 20% output now you can keep stacking these and it's going to be just as efficient for resources as a 42 would be if if I have two steel mills in here so this one's 21 this one's 21 they're both going to produce combine they're going to produce the same amount as a 42 would make because they already have the 20% modifier but if you're under 21 if your building cap is under 21 you're not going to produce you're going to be producing less it's not going to scale as good so that's why you want to build anything you go to build you want to build up to 21 or higher now should you this is a good concept to know should you just build the level 21 and start building in another state up to level 21 so if you want to build iron in one place and you want to build iron in another place there's a strategic reason to spread out your production so that if you lose a state you don't lose a whole bunch of of your iron that is your strategic reason what i'm going to be talking about is productive reasons to have a better gdp so i right here i built 42 workshops and i built 42 okay here we go you have 4.03 tools okay it has 20% throughput right here 2.01 that is half 2.01 is half it's like a 0 0.01 difference but it's that's that is nothing I don't know if urbanization has anything to do with that that 0 0.01 but a 0 0.01 is literally 10 10 tools is fucking nothing the more what you'd be concerned about is the productivity this one has 14.3 and this one has 14.3 now once i did originally construct them i did notice a difference because the one that had the more more in it had less productivity and i gave it a bunch of weeks to stabilize like a like a couple months or something and it stabilized but that's because i also decreased the amount of I think I can decrease barracks or I decrease some other job, which basically I ran out of peasants. I was very low on peasants. I only had like 20,000 peasants left over. So I just deleted some stuff and I had more peasants and that they put enough workforce available to them. If there's a very, if you have a very low workforce, you're going to have low productivity. That's just what I found. When you have a very low amount of workforce in that state and you, and you have a bunch of stuff in there, the productivity is going to be a lot, going to be a little lower. It wasn't significant. It was, it was only like a couple points. It was only like maybe 2.0 difference. It wasn't that bad. But what well, we can actually check, which one's gonna make you more money, okay? Well, obviously the 42 is gonna make you more money, but I'm talking about the scale. We're gonna go to market. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to revenue. Here we go, two workshop, 8.15, okay? Now we have 4.24. Well, 4.24 is more than half of 8.15 that is more than half so you're actually earning more here with two level 21s than you are with 142 now i believe that is because of the workforce difference i could be wrong but that's what i believe it is um i've looked as much as i could i have they are supplied enough with with the railroads they're they are supplied enough they have enough they're not cut out of the market or anything the only reason i could they both have the same productivity the only reason i could see the wages are different is because there are less peasants now what i did to also compare is i built a livestock ranch in one each location there's one in each livestock ranch so i'm going to compare the wages 8.71 7.91 so that actually eliminates the having more of them will actually affect the wages having more does not affect the wages it is the workforce that affects the wages if someone actually does know the reason 
difference for the wages? Please tell me. But that, that's just my conclusion for you. Now we're going to move on to the next part. Is the throughput. So they have the same amount of throughput. So really, building, stacking them all in one location until you run out of, until you run out of peasants is really not a bad strat. The most optimal build in the game would be to maximize your construction sectors in that state to get more production efficiency to build faster. That's uh, that's 15%. And you're going to be like, oh, that's not a lot. Well, you can stack this also on top of it. There's also these other decrees. I will make a video explaining decrees. I'm going to touch this one, the resource one, and the manufacturing one. They both will have the same effect in their relative industries, but I will make a whole other video explaining all of these and why you shouldn't use most of them. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go to here, Lion. Roan, I mean. We're going to go to Roan, and we're going to look at the iron output. So, we have 1,000. And then we also have 840. Oh, what is the difference? Why is there a smaller number? Well, when you click on here, this actually accounts for the 20% throughput. This does not. This tells you how much it makes. A level 10 iron mine will produce the same amount as 10 level 1s. Except, that's what I'm talking about. It will produce the same amount of goods, but the throughput on the level 10 will mean that the level 10 will also produce more goods in total. They produce the same amount, but their modifier is different to, for the end result amount. Up to 21. You have to build up to 21 iron, iron mines, coal mines, manufacturers, anything you build, it's 21. All right. Now I'm going to click here. See, it's a thousand. And right here is 109. All right, now what I'm going to also do, I'm going to put on my decree I was talking about. So, encourage manufacturing industry. Okay, there we go. I'm going to let the game go a week. There we go. Let's go on to the next check. Let's come back. I'm making 170 more iron. And then here, I'm making... I can't remember the amount. It was, it was like, uh, I'm making, I'm making almost over 200 more than I was before. And this modifier stacks. And say, say you go to build a build, and you only build up to level 21, this bonus it won't be as efficient as, unless you stack a bunch of iron mines or gold mines. Anything past, any resource past 21 is going to be super efficient when you put on the encouraged resource industry. Because this modifier actually stacks. Because you can put here, it's 40%. This encouraged resource industry, the 20% throughput, does not actually go to the that does not affect your cap for your throughput so you could have so you have six iron mines so that means you have five throughput putting that modifier does not go stop it does not make you stop at that 20 percent cap you will have 25 percent throughput in that province all right so that's basically everything on throughput there's a there's a really good optimal build you can do. This I did was not the optimal build um, on for this France build. I was I just made this for the demonstrations of game mechanics. I will make another video as part two of this explaining a more optimal build for France and a good way to make a lot of tools, make a lot of money. Mmm, don't we all wanna make money? To make all that money and make all that construction. You want to have, you want to be able to snowball as much as you can. Well, I'll make a video explaining all this stuff up here, why I go very high taxes and all this stuff and what consumer taxes should you get? How, well, who do they affect? I'll explain all that in another video. Now, for now, I'm going to explain the construction. So the steel frame buildings, this is the last part I'm going to touch on right here. So what, when you want to pick which one you want to do, always pick the highest up-to-date one you have. Give the middle finger to the cost. Who the fuck cares how much it costs? It allows you to build more. So right here, 315 and that's 630. That is double the amount. That is double the amount of construction. And that construction efficiency, that's just all of them you have in total. That won't give you 94.5% more construction efficiency. That number is actually, 
technically it's a correct number, but that's not how it applies to your states because the construction efficiency only applies to the states. Now, I can go here and see I got 0.5, and then I go on iron frame, now I have 1.0. I can assume that is a 1.5 bonus and the other one's a 2.0. No, I don't have the math, but that looks correct. Yeah, because that is double and that's double. Yeah, that's 1.5. Okay. And how do you get how do you get steel frame buildings? Well, when I got it in my friends playthrough, once I got steel frame buildings, my GDP within like four years, I was at like 240 million GDP and like 53 or 57 or something, 54. Within like four years, my GDP grew by 160 million just because I had so much construction. And I, I did a little debt build when I was doing that too. All right, but to finish off here, I'm just gonna show you that research and then we should be good. Right here, should be, here we go. So it's on the far left-hand side of the society tree. It's all the way down here. It's this little building one. That is your steel frame buildings. But remember, once you research that, you need to go in here and you need to put that on. Now, I wouldn't recommend rushing that immediately because you need to get other technologies, but I'll explain technologies in another video. Hope this helped you. And please contact me on my Discord server and let me know if anything I said was wrong or if you found a better way to do something or any of the numbers. I, I will make another video and just replace it. Thank you.